Hello and welcome all as we wait for the start of a match amongst the most anticipated fixtures over the course of the entire season. A day certainly not for the faint-hearted, it is yet another edition of this long-standing conflict between two sides engaged in a never-ending rivalry. One that never has and never will lose its intensity no matter what the context, no matter how many times these two clubs meet. The ultra-modern home of Arsenal, a symbol of their class, their timeless sophistication. as friendly as it can be in the circumstances you feel the rivalry well exhibition match sounds like an easy ozy game of football peter and a picture perfect occasion until the word pride gets a mention and it's likely to have quite a big say between teams that could easily be sucked into an excuse for another feud why let an exhibition match get in the way of that so these two will be going at it very very strongly the way Ruben Diaz with the clearance forward it goes and that's been one straight back Ruben Diaz plays it forward. Gabriel Jesus to Bruyne. Now it's Cavani. Breaks on here. Well, he's made sure that that won't get through. Fernandinho hoists it forward. João Cancelo. And that's a throw in. Hit into the middle. Gabriel Jesus and Boris! Rashford. Fred. Anything noteworthy in the early part of the match, Jim? Well, I think both teams probably feel it's, it's too early for either to start taking real risks. So they're still very much in a phase of, of testing the waters and, and sizing each other up. In towards the middle. Walker and it's Morris De Bruyne Manchester United so far providing no real test at all for the goalkeeper and he heaves it forward Fernandinho cleared away Rodri Tries to stroke it through. Wan-Bissaka can get it clear. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Manchester have made some interesting moves in getting their fullbacks to tuck in. A bright approach, isn't it? Yeah, so many fullbacks now just want to get forward, Peter. Sterling plays it in. They didn't manage to get nearly enough into the box, and that speaks of little ambition. To Bruyne. Fred knocks it away. And 
and it's Fernandinho. Rodri. Gabriel Jesus! Oh, fine stop from the keeper. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Lindelof is there to heave it away. De Bruyne. He's had a go! It's a carbon copy of the previous miss. Manchester really putting a few chances together here. Taking one can only add to such good momentum now. It's Alex Tellez. Lobs it in gently. Shot a goal! Goal! Manchester United! Aderson did well the first time. Nothing he could do about the follow-up. Our players like this fella almost have a sixth sense to get themselves in such great coaching positions. How quick-minded was that? So we have our breakthrough. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. De Bruyne. Ruben Diaz tries to get it forward quickly. And it's played forward. And the counter is on. Walker gets it back. Oh, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. Stones drives it forward. Fred. Bruno Fernandes. Nicely measured pass. Good ball. Tries a shot! It's in! All too easy! They are in danger of disappearing out of sight! He does it all with an air of efficiency and simplicity. Well, was there ever any doubt? It made it look like he's done it over and over and over again, and he has. So that's two now without reply. Well, it's been a, an absolutely fabulous spell for them, and they're starting to look unstoppable. There could be more on the way. And here's Mares. Gabriel Jesus. Now short and Sterling. In it goes. A goal at a really telling moment. Perfect placement, the one place the keeper couldn't reach. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. There was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. Manchester get themselves back into contention. 
Listen, goals change games, and that has changed the whole complexion of this one. They have the momentum now. Fernandinho. And here's Sterling. He could be in here. De Bruyne gets it back. And it's De Bruyne. Has a hit! That is some save from De Gea! And that's it for the first half. A breathless ending. So a really good half of football. Three goals and just one separating them. It's kind of a hard one to call, Peter, isn't it? I mean, from what we've seen so far, both sides have provided ample evidence that they can add more goals, and I'm sure their respective managers have reminded them that the next one will be pretty crucial. So it's going to be interesting to see how the teams come out for the next period. Well, it remains very delicately poised, and based on the, the promise we've seen through the first 45 minutes, I wouldn't be surprised if this takes another twist or two. It certainly would be in keeping. Manchester United head into the half-time break with a narrow lead, two goals to one. And the game has already resumed here. De Bruyne. Fernandinho. Fernandinho goes looking. Matic. Forward it goes. Attempts to play it through. Gets the better of his man. Rashford. There are a few waiting for it. And here's Cavani. Hoists it forward. Defenders on the back foot. Fernandinho to Bruyne. De Bruyne set up one goal so far. And it's played forward. Going through. A nice touch. Good take and big chance. No messing about, just bludgeoned away. And it's Alex Tellez. Alex Tellez plays it in. Time to deliver. One Bissaka, not easily shrugged off the ball. Greenwood! <laughs> so now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. It's off target and by quite a way. Well, it was hit with great power, Peter, but sadly, not great precision. And there's going to be another change here. Ruben Diaz. De Bruyne. Has he found his man? Rashford, Alex Tellez, good challenge, he just stood firm. And they're not going to make any further progress now. And now they can launch a counter, he's had a goal! Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. Well, one sloppy lapse like that can do a lot of damage, and it was triggered by the closing down. Greenwood pings it out wide. Greenwood! And that has been clubbed away. Manchester United have it back and they can go again. Cleared away. Fernandinho. Now it's Sterling. Now a chance to break. Now it's Aguero. There's no flag. Aguero. 
Manchester showing a little more urgency now, and to be honest, Peter, this is what's required. Well, Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Spot on, Peter. Chance to break. Played out to the right. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Oh, what a... shapes to shoot! Should have put that one away. Bruno Fernandes really did let them off the hook. They could have wrapped it all up. And the referee has brought play back and shown him a yellow card. Ruben Diaz, Ruben Diaz plays it forward, tries to get it forward quickly, it's been intercepted and that will come to nothing. Juan Bissaka drives it towards the front. He's there to receive it. Keep calm and carry on, that's the job in a nutshell now. Now it's Cavani, the final five minutes. João Cancelo has been caught there, it's a foul. Ruben Dias, and it's De Bruyne. Oh, shooting chance! A real chance and a real let-off. It's found its way to him. It's a it's Greenwood. Eric Garcia gets rid without sophistication, and here's the chance to counter. Bernardo Silva. He's got away. Aguero. And the shot! Great build-up. It all deserved a better ending. Oh, it was such a clever pass that plummets the defence, and it could well be revisited, this. And here's Cavani. Greenwood, Cavani, Cavani! The whistle has gone and it is all over. Manchester United come out on top. Hard fought, impossible to predict. In the end, though, only the result mattered. The end of the game. Reflections? Manchester United made their intentions clear that nothing else but a win would do. These games are always tough. You know?